So in this question, we're trying to identify the statement that's not true about this signal here. Y of t equals cosine omega naught t. And we're told that it's a 1 kilohertz sine wave. So we know that F naught is 1 kilohertz. So that, those are the only two things we know about the signal. We know it's a cosine, and we know its frequency is 1,000 hertz. So let's look at the first statement, that omega naught, the frequency in radians per second, is 2,000 pi. Now remember, omega naught is 2 pi times the frequency in hertz. So that's the frequency in radians per second, that's the frequency in hertz. And the ratio is 2 pi. So if you multiply 2 pi times 1,000, you get 2,000 pi radians per second. So that's true. The second statement looks a bit out of place, but in fact, that is the definition of cosine. It's the Euler definition of cosine. So cosine x equals half e to the ix plus e to the minus ix. So that's the Euler definition of cosine. So that is true. Third statement, here we have some indication of um, um, periodicity. We're seeing y of t is y of t plus some constant. Now let's just check, is that equal to the period? So t is 1 over f naught. So that's 1 over 1,000, which is 10 to the power 3. And the n just means that we can add multiples of t. So it's like saying y of t equals y of t plus capital T. And then we can put a 3 in there, or we could put a 10 in there. That's all acceptable because it's a periodic signal, so multiples of t are all acceptable. So that, tr that too is a um, true statement. Next, it's an odd signal. So is cosine odd? So let's remind ourselves, what does a cosine signal look like? It looks like that. So it's perfectly symmetric around the vertical axis. And you can ask yourself, is cosine of minus t equal to cosine of t? And the answer is yes. So therefore, it's an even function. If it were an odd function, then x of minus t would be minus x of t. And that isn't the case, so it isn't an odd function. So a sine wave is, or a sine function is odd, cosine is even. So, sorry, so this is a false statement, okay, because it's even. Next question the next statement says its spectral representation, that means in the frequency domain, is discrete. So we've, we're familiar with discrete time signals, but when is a spectral representation discrete? A spectral representation is discrete when it's only defined at certain points in frequency. So this is what a discrete spectrum would look like. What does the spectrum of a cosine look like? It just looks like that. So you just have lots of zeros. All the components are zero except that one component. 
because we only have that one component. So, as a rule, any periodic signal will have a discrete spectrum. And that's a periodic signal, so it will have a discrete spectrum. So that is a true statement.